gonna have the serious phase on and stuff. His work ethic is unbelievable. Uh, something that I haven't even seen before in my time in the NBA. To see a guy that comes in every day with this desire to get better is something that's remarkable. I might not have the most time. You know, I might be a freak with my body, but I might not be the best shooter, the best ball handle, um, the best passer, but you know, by working hard, you can achieve those things. The most important thing is the heart, what you feel inside. It's the flame inside your heart. How many people they're like 6'6", six, six, like Jordan? Same body type, everything. Can they play like Jordan? Why? He had that flame inside his heart. He was a killer. I'm definitely a killer. You know, it's interesting. Uh, the work ethic is kind of something that you hear, like, about legendary players. You hear about Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan and all this stuff. And, you know, being on a different team, you start hearing about the work ethic of Giannis. You hear about it from other coaches and other players and whispers. And, and you're like, is it true? Is it not true? I'm not sure. And then you get here and you're like, oh my God, this guy works so hard. It's just, it's incredible. Like, very rarely does the hype like live up to it, but Giannis lives up to the hype. When I came over here, I used to, I, like I was six, nine at the time, when I was 18, and then I grew. But I used, I used to play like I was a guard, almost I was trying to avoid the contact. Once I realized, you know, my length and how big I was compared to everybody else and I got stronger, that's when I realized I could power through the contact. In the East is Toronto. Keeps up with them and Giannis finishes ferociously. My very first workout when I went to Greece, I had this whole uh, workout structure set up and I thought I had some nice dribble moves and some tough finishes around the basket. It was gonna be some slide off finishes, some floaters. And the very first time I said, Giannis, we're gonna do an in and out crossover. I want you to slide off with the left hand and finish. He does it. So Giannis, same exact move, let's get another rep. This time he proceeds to do a slide off with the left hand, bring it back to the right hand and just dunk it and crush it. And I'm sitting there mouth open like, okay, that was, Kind of fluky. Next exercise comes. Hey, Giannis, we're going to do a crossover between the legs behind the back. Now I want you to come through the middle of the paint. Little floater. He comes down the paint, does like a windmill dunk right over the front of the rim. Say, Giannis, a little floater. Coach, I don't shoot that many floaters. I'm attacking the rim to dunk on people. He's leading by example. His voice is getting more and more prevalent, more and more comfortable with it. Um, talking to guys in timeouts, in practice, in film sessions. He's just growing as a leader, just like his game is growing. I think Giannis wants to be the best player in the world. And he knows the only way to do that is to have extreme work ethic, uh, an extreme amount of patience, and I think determination at the same time, because it's not gonna happen overnight. Um, this is a process, and he's definitely 100% bought in. You know, it's always about hard work, it's always about progress, you know, and we, we don't, settle, we don't settle for nothing. You know, we don't settle for like anything. We want to be the best. You know, I always look back and then say to myself, it's going to get easier. You know, as I get older, it never gets easier. It gets harder and harder and harder. But at the end of the day, if you want to win a championship and you want to be great in this league, you just got to go through you know, those steps. That's what I'm doing right now.